My name is Achim Anscheid. I'm Bugatti's Director of Design since 2004. Today we expect a fairly important gateway decision in the product cycle plan. Well, we are all super excited for this day. This is going to be the final design for the car that we're then going to execute in a couple of years long process. So uh, all our cards on, on, on this day today. It's an exciting day for us. This is one of these pinch you days, pinch you moments, you know, like I want to pinch myself and is this really real? I was always fascinated my whole life with these prototypes and like all these rumors that you had in uh, car magazines, how can the next car look like? How will, you know, the, the next uh, model of a car manufacturer look like and what will it be? And th that's fascinating for me. And having this responsibility and, you know, the freedom to, to really do things differently. And I think a deciding factor is really what is modern day Bugatti DNA? Which car represents a Bugatti from 100 meters away, from 10 meters away, from one meter away? Once we have selected one exterior, we go into a feasibility phase, which is a tough phase for a selected design. Then really technique and design have to fuse together. How can we create win-win situations between technical development, which is still ongoing every day, and still keeping the fascination of the design model that we're seeing today and that we are selecting into a process that leads us six months down the road into, into first prototype parts. Every 10 years, this chance comes around to do the next Bugatti. Now, apart from the few offs and the derivatives, obviously my heart is pumping and all with it. So with this, let's say, heritage that Bugatti brings with it, comes of course a huge responsibility because the brand exists for such a long time and we want it to exist for a lot longer time from here. And today we are laying the foundations for the next 100 plus years. Today we are basically doing what is going to, to determine the brand for the next many years to come. So there is a million technical things that need to be worked out. And one thing is for sure, the cars will not look exactly like they are here. But once we make the decision, the engineer's job starts to make sure that somehow they get it to work as close as possible to what the designers want to have. And then there starts this very close collaboration between the designers and engineers. And my job is to play police between the two. When the designers say, I want this, but the engineers say it's not possible, it needs to be that to find a compromise. Well, now since one car has been decided, we will have to make the car as good as possible, working very closely with all the engineering departments to make sure that our vision becomes reality.